Hey everybody, this is Geo Will from FM Productions Squared, and um, here to do a reaction for um, the Expanse. We're gonna be reacting, gonna be reacting to the uh, trailer tonight. Um, haven't actually watched it before, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Uh, trailer for season four. We didn't mention that already. <clears throat> already. Um, a few things first, though. Uh, I'll, I'll cover that during the beginning of the first episode. Let's just to react to this real quick. Um, da, da. Okay, full screen. There is a planet on the other side of the ring. A group of Belta refugees has claimed it as their home. A UN ship was sent to control the situation. Quality is the quality, I guess. Did not go as planned. Hmm. Okay. I need to know what is really going on over there. So they're gonna send Holden. To the ring, interesting to uh, investigate what's going on. And if it is another error. So. Evacuate the Belters and get the hell out of there. So the Belters have taken over this planet. Welcome. That's to interesting. Utah. They wouldn't think they'd be able to. Oh, what the hell? Attack. Holy crap. The artifacts on this planet are waking up. Jesus Christ. They were foolish to think they could live there. We need to see if we can figure out how to turn off what I just turned on. <laughs> that ring station would you see a bunch of people killing each other to control something they didn't even understand there is no version of this where we leave these squatters or murderers in possession of this planet this place is our only hope we're not giving it up i open those gates Miller? Miller's coming back? So I'm responsible for Holy shit. Awesome. We all answer for what we've done. Or at least the the, the protomolica pretending to be Miller. I'd say the battle lines have been drawn. Holy crap. Someday I think you Who's this guy? I'm free right now. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? Okay, so let's... <laughs> Alright, so let's start with the fact that the Belters have their own planet now. Um, that's kind of interesting because... Um, they're calling it New Terra, so I'm assuming it's got... got um, gravity similar to Earth, which is interesting because... Belters, growing up on in the Belt and around asteroids and whatnot... Um, they're developmentally they can't really survive on a planet um the gravity just crushes them uh, in fact when they bring even martians when they bring uh, martians into uh, to earth for interrogation they actually use earth's gravity as a um torture mechanic you know, just basically hang them up on 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 uh like uh hooks basically and just let the gravity kind of break their bones or whatnot. You kind of see that some in uh, season two, I want to I want to say. It's either the beginning of season three. Season three has got so much crap in it. It's kind of insane. Um, but you kind of see that there. So I wonder how they, they get around that or if this planet has less gravity than Earth does. But they're calling it New Terra. I guess it doesn't necessarily mean it's the same size as Earth, but um, I guess we'll find out. Um, this new planet is infested with protomolecule, apparently. Um, and it looks like way more complex than, than what we've seen so far outside of the ring and the, 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 the station and whatnot. So I'm wondering if this is a planet that has some more kind of a direct connection to the protomolecule than what we've seen so far. Um, not necessarily a planet where it was made or came from, but some, some place where the protomolecule had a lot of time to develop. Um...
And here's another thing, though. At the end of Season 3, we see this thing coming at uh, Holden while, he, while they're going through the gate. You know, sort of Star Trek, a la Reggie, sort of uh, transporter sort of thing. Um, I'm wondering if that somehow has changed Holden so that he actually can um, active... Well, it was like that before that, though, too. Uh, Miller, for example. Um, not really Miller. It's a... Um, you know, basically a... Uh, hallucinatory kind of thing because um and here's uh, so many questions now that I'm thinking about it now um does the fact that Holden can see Miller and, and the, the proto Miller says that um he's being he's seeing him Holden seeing him seeing him because this thing's pushing on all the right locations in the brain to like show something does that mean that Holden's infected with the proto molecule if he is, why hasn't he shown any of the other symptoms? Or is it something different? Is this some new kind of variation of the protomolecule? Um, so many freaking questions. <clears throat> but okay, so they, they go to this planet. Uh, the Belters do. Um, the I guess the UN sends a uh, ship there to um, survey or whatever d to do something there. And, and it gets destroyed or some somehow or another. So... Unless oh, Riley wants to send in Holden's team to go see what the hell happened and what's going on. We have this other character that um, uh, seems to be one of the antagonists now. Um, like at the end, they were talking to, to Amos, um, saying they're going to get bloody, they're going to fight. Um, seems to be one of the, the main antagonists. So we got the Belters who um, uh, don't want to leave their world. Apparently, the UN's trying to force them off of it or something. Um, that guy could be a Martian, though, I suppose. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> what else was in there? Um, there's a thing in there about, about turning off something that somebody turned on. I think that was Holden saying he turned something on they had to turn it off. Again, I don't know how... It's, it's obvious that somehow James Holden's been touched by the protomolecule somehow because he's actually able to interface with it now. Like at the station, he was able to complete the circuit and turn stuff on. The question is, um, is that because he's been infected with the proto molecule and it's evolved in a different way, or is it something different, or is it just he was the the one he was the person that was most connected to Miller that was um, the most uh, susceptible? Maybe I don't know. He and Miller went through this whole thing in season two on Eros, <clears throat> so. I would think they had a closer bond than the other people did with Miller. Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe uh, the protomolecule during that time saw them as a, a single unit or something. Um, so I'm pretty sure that it was like watching what they were doing as they were going through Eros, trying to get out of there. Um, really interesting, fascinating stuff. In case you didn't notice, know by now from all that, I am a huge Expanse freak. <laughs> Um, I watched this I watched the first season when I first heard about it and was hooked instantly after the first episode this is the kind of sci-fi that I like really hard sci-fi uh, um, the effects in this thing are amazing uh, and the show are amazing um, this is how all sci-fi should be done <laughs> full stop um, okay so I guess I have more questions than answers. Um, so we're going to go, this will be the end of this uh, video here, and I'll just uh, go straight into episode one, and we'll we'll talk more about all the the stuff from the other seasons during there, some more, into some more detail there. Um, thanks for uh, watching this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Um, would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next uh, reaction.